Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to use my editor for my program screens. Yes, I actually called it like that. Um, basically, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a program which allows you to create a GUI. I've already made a video before, you can find a link in the description. So, this program is actually really easy to use, so I'm not going to give you a tutorial, but a demonstration of how I would use it. First of all, let's see what I'm going to use this program for. Over here you can see six redstone energy cells as well as six um, gate rears. I think they are called gate rears and of course a turtle, because nothing is as funny as usual if you don't have a turtle. This is what it, what my storage actually looks like in my single player world. So here you can see an empty one, another empty one, three full ones and one partial filled one. So if you want to read that, then the results should be like about a bit more than 60%. But looking at it all the time and guessing how much it is filled is pretty boring. So I'm going to create a program which does that for me, using my editor. Starting the program is just as easy as you would think it is. I called my program screen.lure, so I'm going to write screen.lure edit. And here you can see the main page of the editor screen. Now, if you want to edit the main page for example, we go to the design mode and we can either select last screen or we go to edit screens, select the main screen and press edit. Now, adding something is really easy. You click somewhere and then we can add, for example, a button right here. And here you can see the button. But we don't want it right now. Basically, what we want is a screen for the energy overview of this one. And because I want some kind of security, I don't want everybody to see how much energy I have so they won't steal anything. I also want to add a login screen. Let's create a simple window at the main screen, first of all. I'm going to create a text, I'm going to click it and then you can see a magenta pixel which means if you click it you can move the object. I'm going to click here so you can see it up here and additionally about here, no wait, first of all let's go to options, oh, it's lagging a bit, whatever, press attributes, back to the last screen, press text. And here you can see all the attributes of the current object. In case of the text, it's just text. So let's click it, go over here and say, for example, current user, point, and then we see here text current user and the text actually changes. Let's go back to design mode, press last screen and add a variable here. And it's green because usually you can't see the variable, so the program helps you to find it. It would be really annoying to click everywhere until you can find it, right? Whatever. Now let's add two buttons. One would be for login and one would be for the entry overview. The first one's going to be the login button, so we're going to make it over here and press over here and as you can see the pixels are actually different. The magenta pixel is for moving and the pink pixel is for scaling. You can give it basically every scale as long as it's not negative. So also just like that or like that but it's not beautiful so we're going to make it like that. Now set the attributes of both. The first button is going to be for the login, so let's just say login, oh wait, sign in, every website says sign in. The function type is going to be a switch, because we're just going to switch to the login screen, and the parameter is the name of the screen. Um, we are going to say, for example, login screen. It doesn't exist yet, we are going to create it in a minute. The second one is the one for the energy overview, but because we want to make that check before we 
show the window we are going to show a function the parameter is going to be a world date login and text is entry overview now that's basically everything I could do for the main windows and now let's look at the other two ones. First let's create the sign in window or the login window as I called it. The mode doesn't really matter but I set to design so I make it easier when I create the screen. Let's press edit screens, say new and then we can enter the name of the screen. I called it login screen before, I hope so, otherwise I'll have to change it later and this is already a login screen. So why don't we add the necessary objects right now? Uh, I don't want the input right now so let's press delete, last screen and we are going to delete it. Back to design mode and first let's create the text. Text is going to be the to show username and password and usually I set the text right at the beginning so I know where I have to place my other objects. So this one is username, done, and text, uh, password. Alright, let's place the, no, wrong mode. Back to the sign mode, it's very interesting, isn't it? Let's place it about there. Makes a huge difference. Now here I'm going to add my input object over there and over here and down here for logging in a button. And yeah, you know what? Let's make it big. That's what she said. And at last, like we've seen before, the attributes the text we've already set it, the input has three attributes. First of all the input ID that is important as, you, as soon as you start coding. The message is what you will see when you press it and it will appear here like please enter value for the text and is password. In case of the username is password is false so we can leave it like that but input ID is going to be username. Message is, let's say, enter a user name. Ah, just that dot. We don't want to urge him to anything. And that should be it for the username. The password, like I said, is password is true. In that case, the input ID will be password. And the message will be enter a value. Ah, wait. Please enter a password. There we go. And at last, a button. The function type is going to be a function, of course, so we can enter the login information and validate it. The text is going to be login. And the parameter is, I don't know, check login. And you won't believe it, but that's it for this screen. Now let's move on to the next one. The, wait, we're going to call it uh, maybe BC for buildcraft energy screen. And here you can see it again. You've basically seen already how it all works, so I'm going to make that fast. Just a text um, energy or Billcraft energy done. Go to the sign mode, put it over there, and then the slider over um, here. And this is the part you don't know how long this actually took, but it works. You can press it like that. And then the slide will go up. Seriously, it took hours. Hours, I'm not lying. And I want to be shown like that, just up. And I guess that's mostly it. Amazing, isn't it? Just set the ID. 
slide ID to BC energy slider and yeah I guess we can start with the coding part alright guys I am 10 minutes in I had no idea let's just take a quick look at it what I did before I have already written the code edit screen dot lua now I've added two uh, variables the current user which is who is nobody and modem site is left as you can see here is a modem and the computer uses it to interact with the turtle to get the stats of the redstone energy cells now let's go down to user functions as you can see here you have to write functions as usual but then user functions dot and then your normal name in that case it's set random value it's already included it uh, in the normal code so you can take a look at it when you don't watch this video and I've added three uh, functions for my actual code check login it checks if I entered um, Encredem and my password in the two inputs the input of the user will always be inside user inputs and then the key is the ID of the input object in that case I've set the keys username and password and then it just checks if it's Encredem and yes super secure password and after that it sets current user to Encredem function user functions dot well dead login simply checks if the current user is in freedom like we've said it before and then it shows the screen important is that I set change button color to false it after it shows the screen it changes it back but you always gotta set it before you um, use show screen inside the function and the last one is user functions dot get rec stats which stands for get redstone energy cell stats and basically it just communicates with the turtle the turtle gets the stats of everything and the value gets converted into percent so a value between 0 and 100 so let's take a look at it shall we screen dot lua first sign in wait you've seen it here current user is nobody when we enter something like Ingredient. I'm entering the correct values now and whatever zero log in now the current use is in Credem. entry overview now it does work and here you can see the computer say the turtle hey get the stats of the redstone energy cells and when the turtle is finished you can see a slider like I said a bit more than 60% and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching by the way guys, if you do want the programs, I can put it onto Pastebin if you want, um, so you don't have to look everything up yourself, and yeah, basically, it's, oh, oh, don't worry, I've, I've made backups, um, everything is on this. Yep, you gotta do it yourself, or ask, yeah, or ask other people, that's, that's, would be perfect. I mean, you know, it's